NVIDIA shook the market yesterday evening with a blowout earnings report. The stock soared in after hour trading and continues as we speak. So does this NVIDIA run up have legs? The answer might surprise you. Let's dive in. Thomas, we've done a couple NVIDIA videos in the past. Earlier this year, we had talked about possibly waiting to buy the stock. Then later, we spoke of the reversal being confirmed. Last night, they reported blowout earnings. What can you tell us about it now? Well, AI is definitely driving these results. This move has been brewing for quite some time. It's exactly what we've been talking about. Um, AI is not a secret. I mean, the, the rise of AI has been building for several months now. Um, and NVIDIA is the obvious leader. You can see that in the price action, but it's because of the, the company's products. They uh, focus on the high power GPUs for gaming and data centers. And those chips are just what it takes to make um, AI work today. All right, so we had written on uh, Market Beat earlier this morning that NVIDIA would be the stock to own for 2023. And you and I both know how FOMO works. Investors don't wanna miss out. So obviously people are going to see this pop in share price and they're going to want in. I mean, I can't blame them who would, but how do you feel about NVIDIA going forward? Well, I'm not sure that this is a bubble that I want to chase. Uh, this stock price pop, like I said, has been kind of telegraphed for a while. We've known that it's coming. So there's a, there's a big chance that the market is going to just take a while to digest this move. Um, NVIDIA will probably do well for a while. The company will certainly make a lot of money. But will the stock price move higher? That is the question that needs to be answered. I think that right now, investors looking for the rally to extend are going to be disappointed. And what about the rest of the semiconductor sector? Well, yeah, so look at the SOX, the semiconductor index. That's a gauge of all the stocks in the market. It's been lagging behind NVIDIA. It's not moving significantly higher today, and it will probably remain range bound at its current levels for the rest of the year. That's because other semiconductor stocks that aren't as heavily focused on AI and aren't the AI leaders like NVIDIA and AMD are pulling back. On Semi and Analog Devices both tanked in the last couple of days. Uh, their end markets are showing some weakness and they definitely are not uh, in vision with AI the way that NVIDIA is. NVIDIA is NVIDIA, right? That's true, but there is the chart. The chart is pretty worrisome. Uh, let's pull that up for a second. Right. So this is the daily chart of NVIDIA stock price. You can see here is the bottoming we talked about in our first video. Here's where the reversal started taking place in our second video. We've had a nice rally built on the expectations of AI and then this huge pop. This pop is because the expectations were fulfilled. But what we have up here forming is a doji candle. It's a large doji as well. And a doji is a sign of, a, of market certainty. The market's not sure. Are we going up? Are we going down? Are we going sideways? We're not sure. On top of that, this is a 25% price gap. That's enormous. I, have a, I, I seriously doubt the market will allow this price gap to go unfilled. So there's a good chance that the price action is going to come down and back and fill all these orders back down through here. You have to think of all the people that missed out on buying this stock because it jumped from here to here overnight. So there's that as well. And then you got to think about all the people that have bought the stock from here all through the last year. All these people are making a lot of money. The stock is up more than 200% from the lows of last year to the highs of this year. That's going to be a pretty big cap to price action. Profit takers are going to be selling, selling the stock and they're going to keep it from moving higher as well. So that's why I think NVIDIA has a pretty high chance of moving sideways. It might consolidate up at this high level, but I think there's a good chance that it's going to pull back down to support before it bounces higher. Thomas, obviously this was a big signal for the market, but is it a bit of a hopium here? I mean, investors want the market to get back to normal. I think we all do. But as you've said before, the old normal might not ever come back. Are we seeing a new normal? I saw you and Don talking about this last week, but it kind of feels like any good news will do to me. Is What are your thoughts? The market does want some good news right now. There's not a lot of reasons to want to buy stocks. Um, for NVIDIA, this is surprising news because of its magnitude. But I fear that the market is pricing in every bit of gains this company could make for the next several years. 
which is exactly what happened to the cannabis market and to the EV OEM market. These companies, you now NVIDIA's got profits, they're, in, they're established, so there's, there's some difference. But with cannabis and OEM companies, um, those stock prices were built on the expectation of this future market, and that future market will develop, but the company has to grow into that valuation. And I think that um, the winners of AI will ultimately be the same winners of tech that have been the winners of tech all along, which are going to be the big service providers like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and Facebook. Um, because if you do look at the data, look at the projections, uh, the AI services industry is going to be by far the largest segment of the industry and by far the largest growth opportunity. Well, the recent blah earnings from NVIDIA have undoubtedly caught market's attention. We'll continue to watch this. Market B is always going to be your source for the latest stock market news, in-depth analysis, including events that are moving stocks. We'll catch you here next time. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you.